This is Dr. Natasha Iyer for Better Metabolism. I want to talk about mindful versus mindless eating. Mindless eating is something I do, and I've noticed it fairly often. How I get patients on the Better Metabolism program to notice this is through journaling. See, when you have to write down every single thing that you put into your mouth, you start to pay attention. Mindless eating occurs all over. At work, when there's things displayed on a table or at the kitchen or someone's having a birthday party or celebration or, heaven forbid, Christmas and Easter and all of that. And it's so easy to just pick up things and put it in your mouth. Eating while driving, watching TV, reading, working. Not mindful. You don't notice it. And think about all the calories and food that's going into your body that you don't even need. I want you to consider that fueling your body is what this is all about. Eating is equal to fueling your body. We all eat. Some of us eat way more than others. Some of us eat all the time. Some of us eat when we're happy, when we're sad, when we're mad. And then some of us don't eat when we're happy or sad or mad. So every person has eating behaviors attached to emotion. That's another thing I want you to discover while you're journaling. Being aware of the fuel you put into your body is where I want you to start. To pay attention that this body is your Lamborghini. It's the vehicle that drives you into your future. If this is your Lamborghini, what kind of fuel would you put into it? Not junk, not low grade, not dirty, pure, potent fuel. So consider that eating is feeding this body of yours, feeding your hormones, feeding your metabolism, feeding the cells, feeding it to make it look and feel the way you want it to. And if that's what eating is, then it's important. Important enough to make time to prepare your meals, to consider what you're going to put into your meal, into your body. What about the actual act of eating? That's mindful eating. I want you to taste it. Feel the flavor. Feel the texture, I mean. Taste the flavors. Chew your food. I, I always tell my kids, chew your food till it's smush. <laughs> Why? So you can release the nutrients and assimilate it and get it into your body. How often do you just chew a few times and swallow without even tasting it, even noticing? And mindless eating leads you to overeating because you don't even remember what you've done. You don't remember how many nuts you ate every time you walk past the table. It all adds up. Create the space in your day to sit down, to fuel your body, to fuel how you feel. Feed your body mindfully. It's the same way I teach you mindfulness, to be present to notice, to get away from the future and the past and the worry and the fear, to be present in this moment. In the same way, be mindful when you're eating. Create that time, taste it, chew it, savor it, and notice how much you've eaten. Are you full? Don't eat to the point of being stuffed just because that's what you've always done. So the mindset for better metabolism is mindful eating to fuel your body. This is Dr. Natasha Iyer for Better Metabolism.